Good morning, and thanks for joining us. I'm Naya Gonzalez. It's a race to the rescue after a massive earthquake rocks Mexico. People in Mexico City rattled again by a strong aftershock just this morning. It's been four days since the 7.1 magnitude earthquake rocked central Mexico. As the death toll rises, search crews are digging through the debris. I'm standing here at City Hall where Chief of Health and Human Resources Felix Arroyo was just fired. It's been several weeks since his female colleague accused him of sexual harassment. He was on paid leave while police were investigating the incident, but some city officials are saying that they're very upset that he was fired before the investigation was finished. Oakleaf Cakes really is a special place. The cakes look amazing and they taste amazing too. It's a great place to grab a coffee and enjoy some delicious treats. For h and I'm Naya Gonzalez. Hundreds of people plan to gather right here in front of the State House tomorrow to protest the end of DACA. DACA is a program that allows children of illegal immigrants to stay here in the United States legally. Right now there are about 800,000 DACA recipients living in Massachusetts. A man is in critical condition today after he was stabbed last night right here in downtown Crossing. Witnesses say a fist fight broke out between two men. One of the men pulled out a knife and stabbed the other man multiple times. Also this morning, a tragic crash in Avon is now under investigation. A 19-year-old killed when a driver hit her while she was crossing the street. The woman was crossing the street from her job at Party City, heading to Dunkin' Donuts, when police say she slipped in the road. An update now on the Russia investigation. Government attorneys have asked a judge to reject a request to make former FBI Director James Comey's memos public. Police are on a desperate search for clues that could help solve the murder of 62-year-old Denise Robert, who was shot in August of 2015 while walking in Manchester. Robert was an advertising saleswoman for a local newspaper. It's unknown what police are looking for, but they are on the scene at this home in New Hampshire searching for evidence. They've gone back to the uh, crime scene and they've turned it over twice to the best extent of my knowledge. They've They've done a very thorough job of, of collecting whatever it is that they, they can collect. Neighbors say they are confused because the residents living in the home seem like nice people. I've lived here for 14 years and I've never seen anything like this. The New Hampshire Attorney General's office has confirmed state and local police have an active search warrant to investigate Unit B of the home. I don't know how there could be a connection to these people. Police have been investigating the case for two years. Earlier this year, they were on the crime scene looking for the bullet that killed Robert. But they have not been able to crack the mystery murder. Robert's brother says he hopes that anyone with information calls police. My uh, hope, my request would be if anybody's heard something like this or, or has any idea of anything that's going on, let the Manchester Police Department know about it. The veterans stood outside South Station in Boston handing out flyers about the threat of war with North Korea. The veterans are urging people to sign the People for Peace petition as a way to protest the war. The rally pulled in Jill Stein, a well-known politician who ran for president last year. This is devastation for all of us if it's allowed to proceed, so everyone has a stake in this conflict. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has made claims that they are in the final stages of developing their nuclear missile program. He says he will attack the U.S. if President Trump doesn't stop making threats on his country. We need to continue with diplomacy and trying to stop war any way we can. The protesters aren't just rallying against the war, they also have some advice for President Trump. What President Trump needs to do is to sit down and negotiate uh, in good faith. The North Koreans have already said they will freeze their nuclear program and their missile program if we will freeze our war rehearsals. President Trump has continued war rehearsals, which practices invasions of other countries. When asked if he would attack North Korea back in January, he said, You'll see. You'll see. The veterans say they know what war is like. It only causes death and grief for people and their families. And who better than veterans? People who have laid their lives on the line uh, to have an opinion on war. 